Hi, I'm Susie. I have an ombre video out there with polish, which I love. It was a lot of fun. But I want to do it with gel polish. It's very, very different. I got a few helpful hints. Let's get started. So when you do an ombre with polish, you can do it with a sponge. But with gel, you can't do that. I've tried it. Disaster. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it with a brush. This is a gel brush, but I picked it because it's rather soft and it should help me fade it pretty good between the two colors. So I've done a base coat already. So I just applied one coat of this. This is Ugly Duckling and they don't have names on there yet. This is just number 38. Hmm. I'd call it Sky Blue or something or Robin Egg or something. But um, 38 is what we're going to use. And we're also going to use number three. And it's a really pretty mint green. So I've done a base coat of just one of this, and it is a gel. So I've put one coat on, very, very thin, and I've cured it. So we're going to take the design from here. You can get a piece of glass or a tile or whatever you want to use. I'm going to use this. So it's just a cup upside down. I'm using the glass because it just will be smooth. You'll see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to put this color on the glass bit of it. These are the two colors I'm going to blend together. Okay, here comes the close stuff. Now I am mixing these two together. So even though this one is already on there, it's already hardened. I've already cured it in the light. So it's you can touch it, right? I need it sticky and I need the two to blend together. So I just want to put a thin layer. You don't have to overdo. We can do this in a couple layers until we get the blend that you want. on one side. We're going to go vertically and then do a thin layer of whatever you color you choose on the opposite side. Now I've also got the same two colors on here on my glass and I'm going to saturate this little brush, one side being blue See how it's saturating in there? And the opposite side, you want to get your green. And the blue. And then you can paint it on your glass dish or whatever you've got, the table or whatever you're using. You can paint it on there, just sort of blend it on the brush. So one side is blue, the other side is green, and make sure it's blended. You can do this a few times to make sure the brush has really got it in there and saturated and happy. Just don't mix them up. Okay, I think there's a lot in there. So when you paint it on here, make sure you do have the sides matching up. And it's a very light touch I find with gel. And you're just going to go over it and smooth it. ever so lightly. Oh, bad idea. Make sure this is out of the way. I'll cure that for 30 seconds away from my gels. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. It's really quite pretty. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. But I am going to have a brace here. Very effective way to do a gel blend. I love this stuff. It works very, very thin. My clients are coming back loving it because it really wears well, which that's always good to hear from your clients. And if you do get a little bit on, remember, take it off. I use my fingers as tools. Hey man, when they're shaped like that, why not? It's a tool right there. doing gel and you're doing an intricate design and you find that the brush that whatever gel company you're using is a little thick or clunky or if you don't like it you can always use another brush 
We do this with toes at the salon. We do find sometimes the brushes can be a little clunky, especially if you've got a little tiny toe. So grab another brush. You can grab a brush like this, and this company has designed it where you can dab it on the side. That's why they made these square bottles. You can just pick it up right on the side there and um, attack your nail and be quite effective. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a very, very light touch. You don't have to put a base color down, but I did. I think I liked it better. This is a super, super soft look. I'm getting good enough I can actually blend it without even using the brush. Maybe I just think I'm better than I am. So I do this one coat and then cure it for 30 seconds and then do the second coat. Okay, now I see that the thumb is much more defined between blue and green, but these ones aren't as much. It looks cool, but it's not quite as defined. So the second coat, I'm gonna make it a little more defined and not quite as blended. Just two coats is necessary. You don't need any more than that. It is better in one stroke. It doesn't like little bitty ones. Okay, that's a little more defined. I think I like that better. I gotta say though, I do like that look too. Man, there's so many different looks you could get. Just the light touch or heavy touch. This is where the artistry comes in. You know, you could get a hundred of us techs up here and doing the same colors, the same technique, and we would all turn out with different looks. And just gently kind of soften it out. Just really gentle, just like a nice soft blend. That's nice. Okay, one more and we can top coat these guys. Okay, I'm gonna nuke those. Cure, gonna cure. I don't know why I say nuke. I think it's because I was around before all the proper terms were invented. Before gel and before UV lights were invented. <laughs> That's dating myself, isn't it? That's so soft. Okay, now I'm gonna top coat them. This is the top coat. I don't know why I brought that one. Probably because it's pretty. I like the chrome top. Okay. Nice thin layer of gel top coat. Oh, that's so pretty. You know, blue and red might look really cool. Both strong blue and reds, like a real strong royal blue and a real like blue red. That would be like a, almost a 3D effect kind of looking nail. I should try that. I think I'm ready for Hawaii. These are tropical nails. So 30 seconds for the top coat. Wow. You know, that went off way easier than I expected because it was such a challenging experience with a sponge. Didn't like it at all, but this is gorgeous. And it just took a little brush and a light touch. Let's check out the reveals.
a beautiful effect. I totally love it. I think I might like it better than the sponging. It's so soft and easy transition. Just gorgeous. And just with two colors. Think about any other two colors. We could go crazy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.